Hello friends, Arder here and this is ZSL Off-Road Adventure Part 4. And we start with Narcotic by Bamboozler. Well, quite challenging and interesting track just because I'm not really big fan of all slalom icy pipe. I'm really bad at it, so slightly biased on that. And if we will remove this part, I think it's pretty nice track. Quite interesting decoration, nice transition. I know a lot of people who will enjoy driving all these icy pipes. And why we using off-road tires? It's not so hard as it could be, but it still give you some moment of drifting and losing time. So if you can master it, you can be way, way faster than me. Provenance by Kernkamp. And I would say classical Kernkamp is back. Yes, it's grassy track. Yes, it used some like wall ride, 100 degrees wall ride. But in most cases, all transition, all lines are feels like classical Kernkamp track with all transition, all movement. I even don't see any options where you can cut, use like inner wall ride to even more cut time, but probably I miss something. And this track is built just for very precise line and precise transition from one element to another. <laughs> Pale Orchard by Maki and Lost. Well, for me, this track was quite hard at some moments. There are several blind turns, blind transitions, where you don't understand where you need to go. Uh, at least there is some arrow guidelines that you understand where you need to go, but overall it's not always obvious what exactly to expect on the next element. And some transitions, some lines are quite sharp, that quite easy to have extra air time or have extra turn or drift because it's off-road track and it's slightly slippery than usual. So yeah, quite interesting, but quite challenging to have uh, after time. The pin the roads. And now I'm officially I'm blind because when I play this map solo, I never saw this detour where you can avoid all this tunnel and go right. Honestly, I should figure it out by myself because with this tunnel, it's quite a big part of the track where you're not using off-road tires, so it should be for me suspicious. But well, yeah, not only blind but sometimes stupid. And only during showcase, people were starting to turn right out of tunnel and there was other sign that you need to go there. So yeah, it's my bad. As of track, it's honestly not really hard, pretty doable, very fun, especially with off-road tires. All this road, all these bumps are really feels very, very nice and pretty doable. Nice, fun track. Redstone Rainforest by Karnshot. And officially, I'm stupid because of this track. Because my first several attempts that I tried, I thought that you need to go straight forward because there is some road and boosters, so it's the correct way to go. And I spent quite a lot of time just to try and figure out how I need to do it. But it's my problem. Maybe because of heat, I don't know. Maybe because I'm becoming like older and stupider if it's a word. But anyway, without this feature, I would say it's quite normal track. There's no any other hard elements that you need to fight or do something else. All lines are visible, so you have enough time to react on any track changes.
PQA by Mate198 and the left road it's like with normal tires and reverse steering the right way is like off-road tires and honestly i don't know why people can choose left right well maybe as part of the like challenge one but because it's off-road adventure i believe it's better use off-road tires for most of the track but if i took right pass i don't see any problem to finish it it's not really hard there is no really hard elements i believe i could even do it without arms up the last jump or with it it's for me it didn't made any change and left one with steering reverse quite challenging even if it's use normal tires but idea of two different type of tracks with two different challenges are quite interesting and they're by Schmerk. and well this is very nice decorated map very authentic i would say Starva seam is nice. I really enjoy all of these scenes, all of these troopers, and I believe Evox. That's how called all these small creatures. As of track, it's not really hard for me. There are, I would say, two points where it's quite risky. It's the jump to checkpoint eight, where if you won't have enough speed or you won't be on a like perfect, uh, correct spot, you will crash. And the last jump into the finish i believe you need like 130 132 to make this jump or be tight on the left part of the track to reduce your air time and probably it could save you a couple tenths then go outside other than that it's really nice beautiful and cool track GJ504B by the void. Well, pretty nice, look cool looking track with several logical elements and I would say quite precise jumps and several blind turns. Not always you understand where you need to go and want to do next, but after several attempts, it's quite easy to figure it out and just trying to beat your best time but you need to be pretty precise on jumps to not hit the gate and not afraid of some parts of the tracks because there's logic elements and they cover your track pretty smooth track as of off-road <laughs> to the king by diabler and as always Diabler built quite interesting, quite fun track and in this case it's also have some logical elements and as of track it's not really hard but in terms of all these ideas, all this logic, all decoration it looks really nice, it's just really fun track. There are several I would say hardish elements but then if you pay attention to the track you know where and how to go on them so i don't say it's very hard semi hard but very beautiful Sandy City Rally by Lexer. So this is a rev map of his one of Lexer ZSL maps and Lexer said it was like wild wild west but this time you're doing it all on off-road tires and it's I want to say quite shorter. There's several elements that you remember of but you do like different route for this track and it's nice that to remember a bit of your track and you can redone it and really cool nice idea <laughs> bluegrass by ajak and this is meant to be backward driving off-road track and honestly i think it's quite hard for ZSL uh, knowing that a lot of people there are not like really skillful grindy people they just come for fun and I know that off-road are 
slightly easier when you do it backwards, but I think it's still hard. I found a quite interesting way how you can uh, turn back past and I believe if I would do this track clearly I could beat like 52 but I can do it only forward I can do it like reverse so really cool idea but way hard for ZSL as for my opinion Attack of the Giant Radioactive Spiders by Saki Muffin. I don't remember that this after ever created maps for ZSL, so probably it his first one. And some elements looks challenging, not hard, but challenging. All these webs, all this correct way how you need to drive inside the mud pipe and then transition to checkpoint 6 with first person view it's also quite challenging especially with landing you can easily fall off if you do it slightly off the track and then transition to checkpoint 9 and into the finish are also quite challenging because it's sand and you need to find the line between i don't know how you call them but basically heels up heels but even with all these challenging parts, I beat after time, so I think people can do this track faster than one minute. Ah. Reg Raceway by Lazy Hidna. Yet another track where some logic is used. So this is basically, I would say, two lap track, but it's done really interesting, really nice. You need to go backward and you can see other players go into you, go near you and sometimes it's scary, especially if you player turn on. So it's not obvious and slightly confusing at first couple attempts, but then it feels quite nice. As of track, it's smooth. There are several transitions that could be quite hard, but pretty doable. Very interesting. by Eonjin and first of all it's quite long track and it uses trains I believe well I saw at least one but maybe there's two three of them and because they use some physics it could be slightly demanding on your PC as of track I believe you need to be really really smooth and precise on several elements like jump to checkpoint six if you will be slower or faster well in this case faster is uh, worse because if you do it slower there's a fan that pull you up and you can go up then jump over the train slightly blind if you won't do correct trajectory you will easily fall off and crash so you need to know track before you can beat the aftertime and for seven minutes track longer than one minute so basically you like have five full attempts but very beautiful nice looking track <laughs> late for the mud games by mr mock balls and from aesthetics and Decoration it's probably nice, but from the SL part where you need to do track in seven minutes, I would say first let's say 25 seconds are really unnecessary. Basically you do in train drive with constant speed, so basically AFK and honestly no one will have any advantages. And hawking on train, it's also slightly RNG because on a turn it's could turn you around so you fail just because of this and you can't control it at all so it's basically unnecessary other parts it's quite nice quite challenging one uh, some transition are really hard you need to know lines you need to build correct them to not fall off so without first train part i would say nice challenging track <laughs> 
Fandango by Orange. It's very interesting choose of colors and very interesting track in the way how it built. So there's a track and a lot of obstacles and really sharp small boosters and most of them are hidden so probably you need to use photo mode to find them all and find the best line all spend several attempts just to build your perfect line i really enjoyed that this is the round track so i believe the start is the finish and it's not insanely hard it's pretty fun Monster by Cord, Lemmy and Lilizaban. Another really interesting fun track. It's those track where if you do it all as after wanted and intended, it feels smoothly and nicely and no hiccups, no problems. If you made small mistakes, it become a nightmare. You lose so much time on any element that it's really hard really love all these guidelines as i said some elements like after checkpoint thieves wasn't done by me like in perfect manner so i slightly lost time there but still cool representation of monster truck track Thin Realms by Taken Conquire 64. And honestly, I not really love this track, how it's built and purpose. I'm thinking that this is quite hard for ZSL, quite challenging one with a lot of elements that are really unnecessary for ZSL, like even first uphill for checkpoint one. If you do it badly, it's basically speed check. Then you have really weird transition where you need to really, really go to right or be on the right side because you can easily hit the fall light pole. Then you have, well, I would say pretty nice checkpoint for the jump and really narrow road. Well, it's fine. I don't see why not. But then you have this neon purple thing with arrows and you not always see these arrows because of this like flying thing. I don't know, like elements throwing so you could be distracted or it could be basically invisible for you and you miss this turn and fall off because it's completely neon and it's invisible. Then you have this flash which also weird and behave differently but it's fine. And the finish, if you won't have enough speed you will crash. So yeah, I would say quite hard, unnecessary hard for ZSL. Okay, friends, that was all tracks for ZSL Adventure. Hope you enjoy it. Hope you love it. Please let me know what your favorite track it could really help. And Metalted, if you're watching, please let me know. Am I right that this is that song? And I believe it's from some kind of meme or I don't know. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time. Leave like, subscribe. Bye.